Welcome back to the Maelstrom, ladies and gentlemen. We have another Warhammer 40K battle report for you today. 2,000 points, Blood Angels versus Necrons. Today we are playing incisive attack. We have slightly modified objective placement just to utilize more of the table. Um, so we're coming from the short edges and have four objectives. Um, you score five points for holding one, 10 points for holding two, and an additional five points if you hold more than your opponent. And in this mission, you can secure an objective and move on. Um, so the Necrons are going to be coming from this side of the table, and the Blood Angels will be defending from here. Uh, that is the initial uh, table and deployment zones. We'll be right back with the armies. So today I will be fielding a battalion. My HQs are my uh, Primaris Captain. He has a Relic Shield and a Power Sword. I have a Primaris Chaplain on a bike. He has the Exhortation of Rage and the Benediction of Fury. He is also my Warlord. His trait is Iron Resolve. For my troops, I have four squads of five Infiltrators and a squad of five Scouts with Camo Cloaks and Sniper Rifles. For elites, I have a five-man Terminator sh uh, squad with an assault cannon and a squad of five assault Terminators with two uh, Storm Shield Thunder Hammers, the rest Lightning Claws. And fast attack, I have three Outriders to run with my Chaplain. And then heavy supports, I have three Eradicators with their base weapons and a Devastator squad with two missile launchers, a multi melter and a heavy flamer in a drop pod. All right, and one thing I did hear you say uh, that I'm sure people would have notified us about is the scouts are elites instead of troops, but doesn't in, uh, nullify anything in your list, correct? Correct. All right, so that is the Blood Angels half. We'll be right back with the Necrons. Next up, we have the forces of the Necrons. Today, we are playing Novak Dynasty to try out some of the choppy units that have come out recently. Uh, to start off in our HQ slot, we have an Overlord with a Void Scythe, which we have exchanged for the Void Reaper. Um, and he has a Resurrection Orb as well. Um, he is our Warlord, um, and he is running with Blood Fueled Fury. Um, we also have a Scorpec Lord. We've paid two command points to give him Enduring Will and the Nano Scarab Casket to make him more survivable. And then in our third slot, we have two Cryptex. We have a Technomancer. Um, he has the Canoptic Control Node and the Phylacterine Hive. And then we have a Chronomancer, um, and he has the Prismatic Obfuscatron. Um, in the troop slot, we have three squads of 10 warriors with uh, Gauss Flayers. In the elite slot, we have five Scorpec Destroyers, three Tomb Spiders that all have Gloom Prisms, which is going to do me absolutely nothing this game. Um, and five Lich Guard uh, with Hyperphase Swords and Dispersion Shields. Fast attack-wise, uh, we have nine bases of Canoptic Scarab Swarms, we have five Ophidian Destroyers, and we have five Canoptic Wraiths. Um, and then uh, for heavy support, we don't have anything in this list, which is unusual for me, but for dedicated transports, we did bring a Ghost Arc to try to keep our limited troop footprint in the game. So that's it for the armies, and you have seen the table. We will be right back as we get stuck into the Maelstrom. Deployment is complete. Uh, for the Necrons, we have the Canoptic Wraiths on this flank. Uh, we have our warrior squads who were just going to babysit objectives anyway, holding the backfield from a lot of the strategic reserves he has because there's a lot of it. Um, and then we have the Ghost Arc uh, to support them. On this flank, pushing towards the objectives, we have the Overlord and his Lich Guard, our Scarabs, our Spiders, both of our Cryptex, the Ophidian Destroyers, and then over here we have the Scorpec Lord and his Scorpec Destroyers. Um, so the Necrons are 100% committed to the battlefield. Uh, Eric, walk us down your Blood Angels. So my Terminators are teleporting in. The drop pod filled with Devastators is coming in. And my Eradicators are strategic reserves with my scouts outflanking. I have two squads of Infiltrators on each flank. Uh, the squad in the building has a Helix Gauntlet for an upgrade for extra points. Uh, have my Chaplain, Outriders, and Captain in the middle. In my army, I had forgotten to mention that I did have 10 Assault Intercessors, forgot to set them out. They so have a Plasma Pistol Thunder Hammer. All right, so that is initial deployment. 
All right, to determine who starts this show, Blood Angels have a three, Necrons have a two. So it's going to fall to the Blood Angels to choose. Eric, you know, or do you need some time to think? We'll take first. All right, first turn goes to the Blood Angels. We will be back after their initial moves. So my infiltrators moved forward to take all four table quarters, played adaptive strategies on my infiltrators to give them my assault bonus against the Lich Guard and Overlord. All right, so they're going to come back there. Um, killed two and a half Lich, or yeah, two and a half Lich Guard uh, with uh, the infiltrators and the box. Uh, was sitting on two plus saves. I did use Protocol of the Eternal Guardian this turn. Uh, so even with his minus one, I was still on two plus saves and I lost two and a half of them to like 15 wounds. Not the best rolling ever. Um, and then down here, these two squads combined to put one wound into these Scorpec uh, Destroyers. All right, so we got that one combat to work and then we will be back. So uh, managed to cut down a Lich Guard, but he paid two CP uh, to get two extra attacks and managed to cut me down. Yeah, we used uh, Blood Rites and uh, Eternal Protectors on the Lich Guard, uh, giving them five attacks apiece, and they were able to chop through the last two Lich Guard. We did heroically intervene with the Overlord, um, and he was able to kill three of them. So killing the last two off, the Lich Guard are moving this way to try to get stuck in again after a shaky start for them. Um, Necron, turn one, coming up next. All right, for this turn, uh, the Overlord used my will be done on his Lich Guard uh, and then busted his Resurrection Orb and got two of the three slain Lich Guard back. Uh, rolled four sixes on their reanimation uh, and doubled their strength. Uh, moved them forward along with the Spiders who moved up here to join the action. The uh, Technomancer ran to join them and the Chronomancer moved into the gap here after uh, buffing these guys uh, with his Chronomatron. So they have a five up invul and rerolling charges. And down here, the Scorpec Lord led his lot up to attack these guys. So we got charges going in here with all three units. Um, one of these guys went down to the Scorpec Lord's weapon. Um, the Ophidian Destroyers are going into the Outriders. Uh, and then the uh, Lich Guard made a charge against uh, this Assault Intercessor Squad. We already moved the Scarabs in my Novak Blood Madness. I started moving units before it was time. Uh, but they moved up here. Overlord made it in with them. And the, the Spiders on a reroll got an 11, which became a 12-inch charge because of Novak. So they are going in here. So uh, Novak is going to get their blood ride on for a minute. And then we will be back. Combat rolls to an end. And Novak did a bloody number on their opponents for this combat. Um, down here, uh, we had heroic intervention used against us. And the captain came into combat here. Uh, we used Blood Rites to make sure that we got enough damage through and threshered through all three bikes. Uh, the Captain uh, then rolled his attacks with Whip Coil Frame for negative one to be hit. Uh, he missed with four of his six attacks. Even though he was still hitting on threes, he rolled a ton of twos and didn't get uh, anything but two wounds through. One of those bounced off the Chronomatron's five plus invulnerable save and the other one uh, got through and did two wounds to one of the destroyers. Eric then counterattacked here, killed two Scarab bases with the four regular Assault Intercessors. The Sergeant scored two wounds on the Overlord after a command reroll. Uh, the Overlord saved one and then used a command reroll and was able to save the other. Just in case he uh, had some guys survive here to pay three points and fight again, or two points rather now. Um, and then in this combat, uh, the Lich Guard killed off two and wounded one of their opponents. Um, here, the Scarabs killed four of the five Marines. Uh, that Novak negative one killed so many guys that would have saved otherwise. Um, and then the Overlord took the head of the Sergeant before he could swing again. Um, down here, uh, we sent tons of stuff into combat just in case we needed it. Uh, but the Scorpec Lord started things off and cleaved all four infiltrators down in combat there. Um, so a bloody, bloody first turn, but the Blood Angel reinforcements are on their way. Will they get here in time? Turn two, coming up next. So uh, most of my reinforcements showed up. My ter assault terminators on that flank. My Devastators and my Terminators on this flank with the Eradicators on the far end. They fired into the Tomb Spiders and the Spide Odds managed to destroy all three. Yes, he finally had a good roll um, hit with three and then six for the first damage, six for the second damage, and then this guy was doomed with another volley still coming. Um... The rest of my shooting went into the Scarabs and managed to kill three more bases. Uh, 
I did get lucky and reanimate two extra. He would have had five, but I did get two back. And shot uh, my infiltrators into the wraiths yeah. and managed to kill one. Yep, killed off a wraith right here. And then your uh, orbital bombardment, right, coming in here yep. on the following turn. We're going to play it right this time. All right, Chaplain's going into combat. we got a couple of fights to work, and then we will be back. So, assaults come to a wrap. My assault intercessors got whacked before they could do anything. And my chaplain managed to cut down three of the destroyers. Uh, it would have been four, but he got one back with reanimation. Yep, and then the captain smacked one again. Actually, I think I got two back, and then the captain smacked one, right? Yep. Yep, so we ended up with two down total. Um, and put a total of three wounds into the chaplain after all was said and done. Um, the assault intercessors did fight, but only managed one total wound against the Lich Guard, which was saved. And then the uh, Overlord War scythed all of them down, consolidated towards his counterparts. Uh, so that is it for Blood Angels turn two. Necron response will be next. All right, the Necrons kicked things off with Burrowing Nightmares, sending their Ophidian Destroyers underground. Um, we moved our crypt techs around back here along with our ghost art to start fighting against the eradicators. Uh, the chronomancer uh, fired his uh, entropic staff back there and smashed one of the three of them. Uh, scarabs jetted back there and are charging into close combat. Um, down here, the wraiths moved in this direction to get away from the terminators. I still ain't sure they're new uh, resiliency and don't really want to test that, so I'm going to send them in here. And they did make their charge. Uh, both units of Scorpex are charging into the captain. Um, and then our staff of light from here was able to poke one wound in the captain here. Um, my will be done went to the Lich Guard again. They, along with the Overlord, are charging the front combat squad of Devastators. Uh, once we work those combats, we will be back. Combats roll to an end. Uh, the Scarabs are able to munch down on one of the Eradicators and get some revenge on their or for their Tomb Spider buddies. Uh, and they killed the one, wounded another. Uh, we went in here, the Lich Guard uh, managed to kill one Marine, um, and the uh, Overlord uh, also boloed and killed, uh, I think, one, maybe two. Uh, and then the Wraiths knocked down three from the back squad. Um, return fire put one wound in a Wraith, but that was all the damage that we took. In the center, the two Scorpec units were able to charge into the Chaplain. Uh, Captain decided not to heroically intervene because that would probably just mean both of them got killed considering uh, one squad was pretty sufficient to fight the chaplain uh, and then the Scorpec Lord was able to eviscerate the chaplain and finish him off. Uh, however, we did not consolidate because this thing's about to go boom. Uh, so we went ahead and stood where we were for the turn. Um, that's it for turn two. Uh, Blood Angels, turn three, coming up next. So my scouts came on, on that board edge, uh, infiltrators advanced forward to get into his deploy, uh, into that table quarter for engage on all fronts. Assault terminators move forward and are charging the Scorpec destroyers. My terminators move forward and are charging the overlord. Yep. My captain took one wing from the orbital bombardment and is charging into the crypt tech. Yeah, not the greatest look for sure. This guy took one wound, rolled ones for both of my units that were in range, the Scorpex and the uh, Chronomancer, um, and then uh, couldn't get these guys into my deployment zone because to do repair teleport homers, had him blocked out to where he just couldn't get all five guys in quite there. Um, and the Terminators fired here, um, and I used Whirling Onslaught, but he did still manage to get two wounds through. Um, so he's charging into a slightly softened target, but not much there. All right, so we got combats to work, and then we will be back. So my Terminator Assault Squad managed to cut down all the destroyers, losing one in return from the Lord. My Primaris Captain uh, managed oh, to yeah. destroy the Cryptech, consolidated into the Ghost Arc. And my Terminator squad managed to cut out the Overlord. Yep, mashed the Overlord. Um, and then the Wraiths were able to kill off their Marine squad, do two wounds to the drop pod and consolidate into it because as weird as it is, that is one of his while we stand, we fight units. So uh, this Marine was cut down to one wound and did nothing to the Lich Guard, correct? Yep. And then the uh, Scarabs ate the last Eradicator. Um, so the Blood Angels are making a spirited defense here, trying to push back out and did make some ground there at the end of their turn. Uh, Necron response coming up next. Necrons are up to combat uh, with the backfield secure now. The Warriors started their march up the field. 
um, unloaded here and killed two and a half of the infiltrators. Um, the scarabs came peeling back in this direction and are charging into the captain who took one wound from the, from the ghost arc. Uh, the Ophidians burrowed back out of the ground and charged. Uh, had to use a command point reroll, uh, but we did get them into combat with the captain as well. Um, and then down here, everything just hung out in its respective uh, melee. So I imagine this turn is going to be bloody. Uh, we're going to roll some dice and see what happens. All right, combat rolls to an end. Uh, we were able to get the captain down here. The scarabs chewed another wound out of him. And then the hyperphase reap blade here was able to finish him off. Um, however, over here, <laughs> the terminators went first, uh, scored three hits and three wounds with the hammer. I failed two of the invulnerable saves. And the Lightning Claws knocked two more wounds out of me. So even with Enduring Will, the Scorpec Lord could not survive and had no points left, unfortunately, to try to reanimate him. So they did cut clear there. Um, the Lich Guard smashed the last Marine and consolidated into these guys to deny them their extra attacks and plus one to wound. Uh, we lost one Lich Guard for our efforts, but we did tie them up on the spot without all those extra attacks and shooting. Um, the Wraiths then put uh, four wounds on the drop pod, of which it saved three. Uh, so we put two more holes in it, knocking it down to four wounds. Uh, so that is it for Necron's turn three, uh, response from the Blood Angels. Coming up next. So my Assault Terminators moved towards the objective, gonna charge into the Scarabs to try and get them closer. Uh, scouts fired into the crypt tech and two warrior blobs managed to bring one warrior down yep. right there. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's it for shooting. Yep. Uh, so these guys making another foolishly long charge. Uh, started here two turns ago. About to be right here. Uh, we're going to see what happens there. But I think everybody already knows. So assault phase. Assault terminators managed to cut down all the uh, scarabs. Uh, had a spillover one from the lightning claw was the only thing that saved me. Uh, Terminators managed to cut down the Lich Guard, uh, wounded him twice, and he failed both of his wound saves. Yep, have not had a good game for four pinball saves, uh, but it is what it is. Uh, we did at least finally manage to crush the drop pod and deny him any points for uh, while we stand, we fight. Um, we are not consolidating because we're going into our turn, and there's no sense in letting the Terminators hit us first. Um, so that is it for uh, Blood Angels turn four. Uh, Necron response coming up next. Necrons begin their turn with an advance for these warriors in an attempt to get to the center of the table. Uh, the other squad of warriors peeled to this side, fired around the corner, killed off uh, two of the infiltrators, left one at one wound thanks to the uh, metagauntlet. Uh, otherwise, they would have been killed. Um, but we are charging that last guy now. Uh, we also put one shot that didn't have any other line of sight here to no effect. On this end, uh, we fired our warrior block and our crypt tech into the assault terminators and did one wound, right? Just one. Yep. And then uh, we also used our phylacterine hive finally to bring one of the Ophidian destroyers back. So we are charging with the race, the Ophidian destroyers and the warriors on this flank. We are going to try one more time to break some terminators. Um, the assault phase coming up next. Necron combat rolls to an end. Finally, the Reign of Terror is brought down. Uh, the Wraiths killed off uh, three of them. Yep. And then the Ophidian Destroyers got the last. Um, so with that objective clearing up, the Blood Angels don't have enough time to score points to bring that one back. Um, despite a hard-fought victory after what seemed like a, he was destroyed right off the bat, he did come back and make a good fight of that one. But in the end, the Necrons were able to hold on and score the victory.